Okay, so a couple of things have happened. Uh, first of all, there is a spot where we could uh, build a city. It's right here and I'm gonna. So what I need to do is uh, find a bit more money uh, to fund another Colosseum, but also uh, everything that these cities will finish, like for example Medina will finish uh, a Trabuchet, will be moved down here to protect this excess city. Uh, I managed to grow, well, grow, uh, Kufa grow, grew on its own and uh, now it's growing even faster. So this city is doing good, especially uh, as it will probably produce a lot of science in return. Uh, and as I already funded the Colosseum, the happiness uh, is at zero. Man, I'm so inarticulate today. It's, well, oh, I have to focus. We are getting closer to researching astronomy, so after that all is done, which will probably will not be done. Yeah, that's futile. We won't... Well, I'll probably fund an upgrade. Uh, that's better, because Mecca is building bank. After it's done, it's gonna build uh, the Circus Maximus. Um, yeah, 21, 27, uh, it, it won't be able, but I'm probably build a, I would probably just build an archer or something to send down here. Nobody expects the Arabian Inquisition! Yay! Okay, everyone, we finished astronomy. And now, I have no idea what we're gonna do. Well, yeah, printing press would seem like a good idea or maybe navigation frigate privateer seaport hmm, or steel nah we're just gonna go with steel we have to get that one or wait let's uh let's see the big picture where is it come on technology here so, uh, we are here. What would we like? Well, we would like gunpowder, definitely. We would also like economy. And for that we need everything. I guess we're gonna go like this and what printing press yeah it's gonna be printing press okay it's gonna be printing press then Jesus Christ what was I doing <laughs> okay printing press printing press it is and Baghdad has finished library good Baghdad oh shrine you don't have a shrine Okay, build a shrine. That can't hurt. Uh, City of Mecca is starving. I oh uh, no, that's voluntary. They're not really starving. They have a lot of food left. But I want to finish the bank as soon as possible. Uh, because I want to squeeze in a set war between, uh, between this one and this one and that one. And can we or can we not upgrade the ships? Okay, well, thank you for that. That didn't help at all. Yeah, I'll have to wait for another turn to see. Okay, so we can't upgrade ships. Or I forget how, so I'm gonna have to think about this. But I think there was a way. I think there was a way. I just can't remember how. Do we need, like, a port or something? Okay, well, Mecca has finished uh, constructing the bank. Which means that we now can do a settler. Uh, we have 14 here, 7 there. Uh, I figure out why I can upgrade it, because Galeas and Carav Caraval are two different types of ships, so fuck me. Mm, I think, I think, I think, I think. 
Nah, we're gonna go with the Sator and Caravel then. Okay, so the operation, fuck you, Napoleon, take this for being with me for in a war for a year, and year, and year, and then a thousand more years. I'm gonna send these guys now to colonize this spot. That gives me great pleasure. And also, I hope that's gonna work, because if not, I'm gonna be super pissed. Uh, this one will be best because it's on the coast and also it has borders with hills where we can station our units. This one, uh, that one would steal, I think it would steal a part of his territory but you know we need something near a port and also we need the fish. Everybody needs a fish so thank you for all the fish. And you guys are done. With the Colosseum, what are you gonna do? You, oh, you got the beginning me. You don't have a monument. Come on, you can't be serious. Nah, you're you're growing so slow. On the other hand, yeah, you let's grow a bit. Uh, to the Dukufa is up to three, by the way. I forgot to mention it, and it's uh, working on its way towards the monument. Damn, Damascus is growing fast. Baghdad will finish the shrine soon. Uh, Medina is building more crossbowmen. And Mecca is building the infamous caravel. Okay, everything is set and ready to go. We got the colonists, two uh, units, one of composite bowmen, one of crossbowmen and a trebuchet here. That should be enough for a primary defense. And I'm building some more, or training some more units here and at one more place here. So these two will be also sent down south. And the units here will be upgraded soon. And I'm quite happy because I managed to uh, save up enough gold so we can immediately build uh, the Colosseum. So that when Mecca is done, we can finally do the fucking Circus Maximus. Behold! the new city of Arabian Empire which is called Basra awesome so you guys will fortify here and you guys are already fortified there and you guys will set up here for a ranged attack and then fortify and Basra will well No, you're gonna build a monument. We're gonna purchase uh, the Colosseum there. And then we're gonna purchase walls. And how much are walls? Walls are 930. I have to take a loan from someone. But this is necessary. This city must not fall. Okay, so our ship, Caravel, is finally ready. And we're gonna take a boarding party and you are gonna visit the ocean and tell us if you can find any islands and as you can see uh, this place is being well fortified we are working on that uh, I decided to connect this as well so that we have a route from Lutgoain to Damascus through Kufa and Mecca, if I'm not mistaken, should now be able to build a Circus Maximus. Awesome. How long will it take if you go... Holy hell. Man, but I'm really like... Neglecting Mecca. No, Circus Maximus. And once that is built, you will grow to at least 16. I give you my solemn bow. Okay, we finished the printing press and now go to economics. That will give us a significant bonus in income. Plus the windmill is always good in every city. Nobody expects the Arabian Inquisition. After some searching on the sea, I finally managed to find a place. I'm not really sure if we will be able to settle it. It seems like it might just be 
uh, one tile but still there might be more in the ocean so I was wrong there is a spot and we're gonna take it but first we need to get the Circus Maximus I'm actually thinking is there anything that ah Damascus will produce uh, produce the settler I would be glad if the settler was ah, about the same time as the Circus Maximus so that seemed like it could work I found another island that would be suitable for colonization this time with silver and two fish in the vicinity okay good turn we can now change or change um, adopt a new uh, social policy so and oh man I would love to get rationalism fuck Oh my god, I'm going for rationalism. Fuck it. That's just so necessary that you I cannot even express it with words. And Niron finished something. Monument. Okay. You have a defense. Temple of Theater. No. Library. You need a fucking library. Oh, and you're... Oh, I see. You're growing. Okay, then grow. And how's Mecca doing? 12 to Circus Maximus, 8 to Damascus Producer Settler. Then Mecca will produce another one, will colonize both of the islands. But I'll have to build or train. I'll have to train two more defense units somehow. Uh, that's a workshop. So I guess Mecca will produce them. Golden Age! Golden Age! We are in a second golden age in one game. Holy hell, I'm doing good. You know, I'm not doing as good as Lucky who is playing this all the time. But damn, I'm quite content. Uh, next turn, uh, the unit in Damascus, the settler, will be trained. And I'm going to send him down here to solo on the furs. Now, that's going to take some investment to do. But where I really want to pour the money is into Budapest uh, if we gave them a gift now it would grant us 75 influence which would be barely enough to get gold gifts are temporarily more effective okay well maybe not maybe we could build a road Hmm. I'm gonna definitely do that. I decided that I'm gonna invest some money and piss off France and I bought these three tiles. So he can't, you know, take any more from me. Ha! Take that, France! Ha! Okay, we got the economics. And thank God for that. And we got a Circus Maximus! Yay! Happiness plus five. Okay. Now, what can Mecca do? Mecca can either build a windmill, a harbor, a theater, or a constabular. I'm going to go with windmill. But what Mecca is really do is fulfill the promise I gave it and start growing again. Fuck, that was intense for a long time. Oh, and we can go for industrialization. Uh, but we're gonna go for steel because th that one we should have done a long time ago Meanwhile our settlers are on their way to the promised land I'm just gonna send them on the ocean because I don't trust anyone and our warriors are almost there Here is our Caravel which is gonna patrol these lands and go up to see if there isn't another island up here that we could somehow colonize maybe 
Oh, and by the way, Budapest is allied with Byzantium. They have 96 influence. So to sway them, we would need... Uh, 1,500. I was checking if anyone... And they have high income, but they wouldn't loan me that much money. I need someone who's swimming in money. Like, literally. Hmm. Nobody. What I really don't like, though, is that most of my cities uh, are now converted. Except for Mecca and Ludgoline, all of them. Fucking hell. It's really now not good. God damn it! <laughs> I will never learn. Anyways, we are one turn away from colonizing this small. Now yeah, we have to figure out a good name for this one. Uh, and I have 1500, over 1500 gold. And these guys all love me and will for a couple more turns. So it's time to give gifts to Budapest and make them love me we are now allies huzzah uh, they actually don't give me anything but they might give me some hmm. oh they might give me some units cool that's always useful Nobody ever and Baghdad is now ours. On that note, we have a city of course on here, which is set up quite well, but it's gonna be a pain in the ass to grow in any other way than uh, food and gold. Because the production, my god, it's gonna be awful. On the other hand, it should be a huge money maker. Uh, so hopefully that might fix some of the monetary problems you might be having. Okay, we finished steel and it's time for some serious gunpowder! Bam bam! Okay, so we decided to end for today. On that note, the couple of last turns were quite peaceful. I was just managing and managing and managing. The bad part is uh, that Byzantium really went head on and converted Yerevan and Budapest with a fuck all of money. So for Budapest we would need, well, at least 1500 gold to convert it back. And for Yerevan we would need at least 1000 gold. So... That pretty much screw us over, but we will manage. We have one last turn uh, for the golden age. We have a good income. I'm sending these warriors down here uh, for the next settlement. Uh, Khorasan is growing fast. Uh, Ludgo and Mecca is growing. Kufa is growing. Everyone is growing. Everyone is happy. Uh, people are generally content. We will soon have gunpowder. Which would really, uh, which should really help our uh, defense. And I was scouting here. There's nothing there, really. No islands, nothing. Just these two, and this one. And that's all. But still, we got one. And this spot would be great for faith and um, faith and growth. And. I guess that's all. Uh, I haven't been doing good on the um, re whole religion front. We are losing uh, ground and I guess our religion will fall apart uh, because Byzantium's religion is much stronger. It's backed by Byzantium which, you know, you see the difference. There's nothing we can do with that. Uh, I sur surpassed uh, Chevalier but I'm still far behind Lucky. And there's one thing that you guys might want to know. Uh, Lucky and Ch Chevalier are at war. And they've been for a couple of turns now. I don't see anything of that. Uh, I just see Antwerp, Amsterdam. Oh, well, actually Antwerp is a... Yeah, that's a separate city. But it's, you know, similar colors. Look at that fucking huge thing there. 
But other than that, I don't see anything. This whole area is black to me. So uh, I just noticed one that was, uh, you know, the whole thing that they declared war. But there was nothing to comment on. I was hoping that I might learn some information, but nothing really. Uh, and there's no way how I could, you know, see it. I don't have uh, military access from either of them, so I can't even send units in to, to see what's going on. So yeah, on that note, I'm going to end on this map, which is kind of funny. I started using it before, and I think it's it looks interesting. <laughs> like, uh, Actually, this looks more civilization-like to me than the, ori than the normal map, uh, for reasons unknown to me. So... Interesting. This, the game did not lag at all, and it started lagging on this map, so... Oh my god. Anyways, uh, I'm signing off from Lag Town. I hope you enjoyed, and next time. And, of course, my friends too.